Hey guys, it's me Jake from Jakeman21642. Today I bring you a video of this 2011 Audi A6. This is a supercharged Quattro model. As you can see, it has an ice silver metallic exterior. Coming along the back, this one is riding on Continental Conti Pro contact tires. They are 24540 R18s. So your very nice 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels with rear disc brakes. They're very nice looking on this car. Coming along the back, you can see your dual exhaust, rear parking sensors, and your 3.0T Quattro badge, your LED taillights, and coming along the side of this Audi, you can see your chrome trim around the windows and your chrome trim on your door handles, and probably my favorite part of the car. Coming along the front, you can see your projector HID headlights with your fog lights down below, and of course, in traditional Audi fashion, your LED running lights down here along with your very nice grill. Go ahead, start this one up. You do just get your standard Audi switchblade key fob. And coming inside, this one does have the black anthracite leather interior. This is the S-line trim level also. So, go ahead and start it up. Just insert the key right here. And to start, just put your foot on the brake and flick. Very nice. Coming inside of this Audi, as you can see, you have a very nice leather wrapped steering wheel. Very nice and smooth power steering. Coming along down here, you do have all your audio controls, your paddle shifters behind the steering wheel for your six speed automatic transmission with sport and manual shift mode. Back here, you do have your cruise control, your day to, or your parking light controls right here, and your brightness settings. Right here, you do have your variable speed intermittent wipers. Coming along the door of this vehicle, it is very nice soft touch material all the way across the top. Right here, you do have more of your brushed aluminum along with your power locks, power seat controls. Down here, your all four automatic windows, your child locks for the rear seats. Right here, you do have your power heated mirrors and your air vent right here along with your automatic headlights for fog lights and everything inside when you have the lights on lights up very nice white and red typical Audi fashion right here you can see your gauges very nice looking gauge cluster your spit or your tachometer speedometer engine temperature and fuel gauge your multifunction display in the middle which you can kind of scroll through all your radio presets different modes all of that on the steering wheel coming along the center everything on the dash is soft touch it is very nice you do have your very nice dark wood grain with your quattro badge which also falls, follows along here. Up here, you do have a few other uh, settings, your check, uh, dis or your clear for your trip computer, and your gauge brightness. Right here, you can see your navigation display, along with your on and off for the display, if you find it distracting. Right here, this drops your glove box. Inside of there, you do have your uh, DVD memory slot for your navigation, and then your CD changer, which is very nicely tucked away in there instead of the trunk. Right here, you have your ESP on and off, valet mode. Um, for valet mode, you can just turn it on when you have the regular key and then use the valet key. Right here, you do have your dual zone, automatic climate control with heated seats for the driver and passenger. Down here, you do have some storage. As I mentioned, your six speed automatic electronic parking brake. Down here, you do have all your audio system controls. In the middle here, you have your navigation. And as you can see, when you have the headlights on, navigation goes into night mode. When you turn them off, day mode. Very nice. As you can see down here, though, um, your navigation is pretty much controlled by these four quadrants on your MMI system. So you have your route, nav info, navigation and map. Is not active. Down here, you have your return, telephone, all those different things. Inside of here, you have a cup holder along with a power outlet. And inside of your very nice padded leather armrest, as you can see here. It is dual tier, and you have another cup holder, power outlet, and some more storage down here. It does have an auto dimming review mirror up here, and your handle. Up here, you do have your sunroof controls, your interior lighting controls, and your garage link. The seats in this vehicle are very nice and comfortable, very nice, thick, uh, typical German quality leather, and they hold you in very nicely. So, we'll go ahead. Put the automatic driver's side window down, pop the trunk, 
and we'll pop the hood. Everything in this car just feels so solid. I mean, just listen to the door when I close it. Coming along to the back seat, you can see your S-line door sills back here too. You have your little ashtrays in the door, which of course is a non-spoker. And stepping into the back seat, since this is pretty much a mid-size luxury sedan, you have an excellent amount of room back here. I mean, this is where I would sit. You have your pocket and your AC vents up in the pillars. As I mentioned, your ashtray, very nice soft touch material. Down here, you'd have heated seats for the rear, along with your AC vents, and another power outlet. Up here, you'd have your armrests with storage, and two cup holders. Overall, it's just such a comfortable back seat in this vehicle. Coming along to the trunk, you can release it right here. And inside, as you can see, this one has a very generous amount of room. Same as the uh, Volkswagen counterparts, it does have your little cargo hooks up here, which are a very nice touch. You have your two rear floor mats back here, and underneath of here, this vehicle not only includes a full-size spare tire, it is a matching alloy wheel to the rest of yours. Down here, you do have your battery also, and over here, you do have your jack storage inside of there along with some more storage and uh, access back here. As you can see, it is a line trunk and you do have struts so your luggage doesn't get interfered with. And the steam is normal. It's kind of a rainy, cold day here. You have the back seat from this side. And up front, you do have a full power passenger seat also. As I mentioned, your glove box can be released by the push of a button. And coming up front, you can see your projector HID headlights with your LED accents underneath, along with your fog lights. And up under the hood of this Audi, you have a three liter supercharged V6 engine. One last shot of the exterior and step inside and give this one a rev. It's got an excellent sound to it. And we'll go ahead, put the automatic driver's side window back up, and cut the vehicle off. Wheel chime, reminding you to take your key with you, and to let you know to turn the headlights off. As always, this vehicle is for sale at Volvo of Richmond, here in Richmond, Virginia. If you are interested in this vehicle, please let Volvo of Richmond know you saw this video. Thanks for watching.